Hey guys, this is Sumit K. Welcome back to my channel, The Cloud Baba. Previously, we have covered how to create a basic multi-agent um, using the ADK framework. So we have seen how to create an agent. We have created two uh, simple two function tools. Um, and then uh, we try to get the uh, weather report of uh, New York City. And we also try to get the uh, timing of the New York City. So we have hard coded the response within the agents so this that was the very basic um, uh, demo of uh, how to set up a, uh, a multi-agent uh, next demo what i'm going to do i'm going to use the adk streaming this is also a kind of a very basic demo so here i'm going to use the inbuilt uh, inbuilt tool uh, which we call it google search so google search is, is going to be a, a, a predefined tool from Google that we can use and leverage using the LLM agent to find uh, to answer to answers the uh, user's query, right? So before I go and uh, you know run this demo, uh, let's just understand what we are going to do in this demo. So what is ADK streaming is basically streaming uh, enables you to uh, you know voice and video communication uh, with your agent. So you can not just use the text. But you can also use audio and video to communicate with the agent. So we will see how to create a simple agent which will use an ADK streaming to enable the uh, audio and video communication with low latency and it will be a bi-directional. Um, so you will feel like that you will talking to a human and human is, is answering your questions. So we will install the ADK again, you know, uh, we set up the basic Google search agent. We'll try and, and uh, run this agent using the ADK web tool, which is a kind of a GUI tool. And we'll see how the agent uh, you know, responds and answers your query. So again, you need to follow the same. If you're following along, then you your environment is already set up, uh, you know, with this actual, uh, you know, you can create the virtual environment and then you can activate that. You can install the ADK using the pip install Google ADK and then you follow the same project structure. So here, this is a very basic code. If you see it here, um, just copy paste this code or you can get it from the Google documentations as well. Here, so what I'm doing here, I'm importing the ADK agent, I'm importing from the ADK agents, the agents, and I'm also importing the tools. So um, last time we have some functional tool, but here I'm using the inbuilt tool. So I'm directly defining the root agent and the name of the agent this could be the unique name of your agent and then i'm defining the large language model so you make sure that you use this particular model because this this model um, is basically works with the uh, you know adk streaming right so you make sure that you don't use other models so use you have to use this model if you're using from the vortex AI studio then you need to use that use that model so there is a difference okay so um and then you need a, to give a short description of the agents. Uh, so for here, I have simply um, a, a simply put agent to answer question using the Google search. And then you will you'll define and set an instructions uh, for this agent. So I'm saying you are an expert researcher and you always stick to the facts. Then finally, I'm adding the search tool to perform the grounding with the Google search, right? So here you can see the flow user will uh, user will send the query to the agents and the agent will use the inbuilt tool the tool will call to the google search api on the internet it will combine the result uh, the tool will send the result to the agent and the agent will uh, send back the response to the user so let's see this in demo if i show you here so here uh, this was my uh, this was my last demo, which I have used this directory. So let me just cancel it. I have this particular uh, directory, ADK streaming demo, wherein I have a agent already, agent uh, code is already been set up. So you can see that this is my parent directory or uh, this is my parent directory. And under this, I have an app folder. And under this, I have a this agent, uh, agent directory and the same code is over there. So let's see how we can run this. Again, we have a same code init.py, which is nothing but just we are adding the agent. And um, since uh, if you are using the Google uh, 
uh, if you are if you want to set up the platform there are two ways you can use with the gemini or you can use gemini google ai studio or you can use with the gemini google cloud vortex ai since we are in the google vortex ai we are following the same same approach so <clears throat> uh, and then uh, the first thing you need to do just go to your parent folder app and here and here i have uh, all this uh, all this directory and then what you need to do the first thing that you need to set the uh, ssl cert file variable and this is the command this is required for voice and video video test later so just just export it let me zoom in okay and now we can simply run the command for gui interface adk web and this should be running and just copy this this uh, uh, particular url which is running on your local machine go to your browser and put it here so you can see that your google search agent which was if i show you here which was the name of your directory which was name of your agent directory basically so uh, so basically i told you in the last video right we are sending this entire package as an agent right so whatever comes whatever code that comes under this particular agent directory it will be pushed as a package so that that is why you are seeing this entire directory over here so this is your agent right this is your agent that containing all your files now um let's try to try with some uh, you know uh, voice and uh, then um, see if this works or not so let's say um one second so let's say if i i need to disconnect my headphone because you won't be able to hear it so just give me a one second what is the weather in new york city the weather in new york city is currently cloudy with a temperature of 58 degrees fahrenheit 14 degrees Celsius, but it feels like 57 degrees Fahrenheit, 14 degrees Celsius. There's a 0% chance of rain and the humidity is around 93%. The forecast for the next few days is tonight, rain and possibly a thunderstorm before 2 a.m., then showers and possibly a thunderstorm. Low 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Tuesday, a chance of showers, then showers likely and possibly a thunderstorm after 8 a.m. High 64 okay, degrees okay. Stop, Fahrenheit stop. Wednesday. So yeah, what a wonderful response. Uh, I can hear it from the agent. So you can try this video, try with voice. You can reload the web browser, click with the microphone button to enable the voice input. Ask the same question in the voice. You'll, you'll hear the answer in a voice in the, in the real time. You can also try with the video. Reload the browser, then click the camera button to enable the video input and then ask the same question what do you see maybe you will ask how do i look like um, right the agent will answer what they see in the video input even you can you can ask the same question right maybe you will try to ask this question uh, what is adk uh, how it works so agent will will you know uh, give you the uh, give you the response like a real time right um another thing is um, uh, you know, if you want to build a customized or custom streaming application, you can do that. Um, we, I don't want to do this right now, but uh, the code is there. If you go for the Google documentation in the uh, streaming section, uh, you'll find the code over there, how to build the customized uh, streaming agent. Uh, that option is also available. So you can customize all your, you know, customized streaming app application.